Hello, Pisces, getting ready to do your reading. All right, let's see what is showing up for you, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Pisces, <clears throat> a page of coin and the seven of swords. Okay, could be an earth sign involved, could be a message you're receiving. Ooh, six of cups, six of wands. This is kind of like secret love or some from the past, or we'll see. All right, in the past, you have the devil energy and the five of wands. So it could be a Capricorn, though, involved. Lovers, page of wands. You have the two of wands and the temperance. <clears throat> hmm. I feel like you're winning a fight, to be honest, with the six of wands, five of wands. I feel like, you, I feel like something's coming in for you, Pisces, and you have to kind of, you're excited. I get you're excited. Let's see here. All right. Working. Oh, is this that playful, you know, banter at work where there's some sexual chemistry going on here? You got to see it in a different way. Is that what's going on here? Kind of seems like it. Because Five of Wands is, you know, it can be competition, but it's like somebody is interested in you and you don't realize, it, you don't see it that way, or maybe you finally do. But it's at work. It's like the person who keeps walking by your cubicle over and over just to, you know, get a quick peek at you. Now, this person actually likes you. So I'm kind of getting that there's this, um, yeah, there's the offer. They have a secret crush on you, Pisces, is what I'm seeing here. Uh, yeah, look what's under the deck, Knight of Cups. But what is this out here? So this is kind of like, I don't want to date this person. I can't date this person. It's against the rules to date the boss's daughter or the boss's son or something like that or my co-worker. I don't know. You're not really, are you not into it? It's like you like that they like you. It's kind of what I'm getting, six of cups, six of wands. But then now that they're asking you out, maybe you don't want to go out with them. Like it was fun when it was like this banter at work, but now it's going farther. And now it's like, you don't want that. Is that what I'm seeing here? This person has developed a major crush on you. I think, again, up until now, it's been sweet. You like the attention, but then all of a sudden, it's like maybe it's going overboard or too much. Let's go back around and see. Oh, this person fantasizes about you at work. They think about you at work. Probably waste a lot of time at work, not working, and thinking about you, flirting with you. I think it's cute. Yep, hair font. This person is very hopeful. I'm just, just going to take that one. Uh-oh. You know what? All these are going to come out, so I will take them. Okay, wait a minute. So they were supposed to come out. That makes sense. Could it be that they were married and they are no longer married? They're the Ten of Swords, Ten of Cups, Ace of Wands. Is that what's going on here? Maybe that's why you're pushing them away. Maybe you uh, knew or know that they're involved with somebody else. They may not be anymore. They may be free from what I'm seeing here. Let's go to your outcome. Judgment, the world, three of cups. Okay. Yeah, this person is free. I mean, this person, this is interesting that would come out this way, but it is some of the secret crush on you, but it is that they're, they can date now. They can go out before you're like, no way. Now you're like, okay, this works. Three of cups, tower. Okay, so that could be the end of a third party and a new beginning. Could be moving. Four of Wands and Tower. So, Hierophant. Strength. We have Leo, we have Taurus, and the Knight of Cups. That's a very interesting reading. Okay, so again, we have Gemini, Aquarius, could be a Capricorn. We have Taurus, Leo, Scorpio. What is that? Sagittarius energy here. This is basically what I said. This is like someone flirting with you over and over and they were married. They're not married anymore as I'm seeing her. They're not in a relationship anymore. Up until now, you've been pushing them away because you don't want to be part of a third party situation. But they're singles I'm seeing here. Oops. They went through a major ending. I mean, even could be, it could be you turned them down. So it feels like somebody you've turned down over and over and over. They've been very persistent, but now it's okay. Now you guys can go out. Because they're amping, they're ramping it up, or I guess you could say amping it up. They're definitely doing that. Because you got the six of cups, six of wands, which is like flirting, telling you you're pretty when you come to work. 
you know, taking you out maybe for lunch or just, you know, that type of thing. Something just simple. Now it's like Herophant. This is like major, you know, commitment here, strength. This is different. This is like dressing up in a suit and tie and taking you out to a candlelit dinner and asking you, you know, I don't know about getting married, but definitely for commitment, something. I don't know how you get, you know, quote, engaged or what you say nowadays to get a dating in a relationship. But that's what I see here. It's like they are want to be, they want to be with you. They're taking it from the playful kid stage to now let's do the grown up thing. Let me pull for your reading. Let me pull. So there's a couple messages because I'm not sure why they're showing us this because it's a very sweet, simple reading, but there must be a meaning for somebody. Like, you need to know that they're not in a relationship anymore. You need to know that they actually want commitment. Maybe this is almost like a childhood sweetheart that I don't think it is for most of you, but I think it's like it's all this reading is like it's all grown up now. It's a different energy around this person. Like, before, what used to be like play, playful poking is become serious. And. Maybe you need to know that. If you don't like this person, maybe that's, oh gosh, look, it fell out. I'm not kidding, wedding. <laughs> I have some, and this could be the one. You guys, that's seriously what I'm feeling for someone. It's like, this is turning into like a major marriage committed type of relationship. Heart to heart conversation. So getting to know each other. You have trust. And one more, please. So new love. So could be new could be someone new i mean it looks like you pretty much know this person uh could be someone new at your job maybe you've only been um seeing them for a few months you know and at work i don't mean dating i don't know if you're dating this person yet but this person is interested in you also if you are dating this person maybe you're wondering where this relationship is headed and again this could be, again, someone who's dating more than one person. And all of a sudden it's like, I don't want to date other people. I just want you. I just want you and I to start this new chapter, the 11s, walking through the new doorway. You don't have to get married. This just means commitment. This just means um, just the two of you, right? But it's definitely turning into something that's much more, you know, formal. It is a real relationship here that's been building between the two of you. I do see someone getting asked to be married, like, will you marry me? And I see them hoping that you'll say yes. I see people watching and waiting. And so I see that like a, a restaurant or an outdoor venue, something like that. I do see that for someone. This person, I think, likes you a lot more than you realize, the Seven of Swords. Actually, is a very sweet energy around this person. And I also see little love notes. Maybe they leave notes on your car or they will be leaving notes on your car or a flower or something like that. Just very sweet. They may bring you coffee to work. They may drop it off at your desk or wherever you work. Is what I'm seeing here. Yeah, this person has like true love for you. I really get that. It almost looks like for somebody that it does start off as a relationship with the two of you just don't get along. You really do not get along. You may be on the same team, something like that, and you guys do fight a lot. Now, this could also be some type of sports team because five of wands can mean um, competition. And you guys are chained, so it's kind of like there's a referee or a judge or something also. It's kind of what I'm picking up. There's uh, like specifics here that you got to follow the rules. So it's not work. It's someplace like that is also what I'm picking up. I'm also getting something to do with church. I don't know if you go to church now. Or are you used to it in the past or something? I also get like the word religion. So I don't know if you guys fight over religion or something like that. I don't know what that means. All right. So I'm just going to leave it here. Have a really good week, you guys. And I'll talk to you soon.